Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's episode, I am going to be really quickly reviewing the uh, Ma the uh, Marvel Hasbro Spider Punk in uh, Spider Man Across the Spider Verse figure. So uh, yeah, um, so this is a basic figure, not much articulation at all. And uh, you might know something different, background's different, I'm in my living room right now. But, I didn't feel like going out in the kitchen, sitting up up there, so I just decided to do it in here, because I was lazy. And I've already made a YouTube short on this, but I decided to make a full video on it. I don't know why, but I just did. So, so I can talk more about it. So, first, uh, let's look over the sculpt. So, here at the head, he has his spikes, his mat. I feel like it's a bit basic. I'm not sure if Spider-Punk has any webbing, but I would like to see some. But, eh, it's fine. He has his belt buckles, his everything, his big old shoes. And honestly, I love this design. I really hope this is actually the one from the movie, because if so... It's pretty walking wall if you've got buddy. Uh, that was weird. Okay, but the painting isn't that good, though. The sculpt is amazing, immaculate, actually. Glow the little details, I just painted it one color, but hey, it works. For like a 12 buck figure, $12. So, let's get into the articulation, which, at the head here, he has a swivel. Then here at the hand, he has another swivel, and it goes up about there, bend at the elbow, comes up to about right there, swivel. There's no torso articulation. Here at the legs, here at the legs, he gets that much back. And that much forward. And yeah, that's about it for this, um, this, uh, articulation. So now, sorry if I sound far away. So now, let's, uh, take a look at his accessories, which he comes with this guitar. Again, really nice sculpt, but no painting at all. I would like to see the at least the shrinks painted, but eh, what you gonna do? So he stands at about six inches, I'm pretty sure, which is pretty good. So. Here he is with the Marvel Legends Sentry, and that's actually really good. I like that. And then here he is with the TMNT Classic Leonardo. And finally, just for the goofs and for the giggles, here he is with the Killer Croc for a kill for the DC next to the DC Multiverses Killer Croc figure. I can't even get him to stand. There we go, and, uh, yeah, that's a pretty big size difference. Then again, that's actually good, c considering Killer Croc's immaculate size. But let's get him out of the way. I just want to focus on how he scales with a normal Marvel Legend. That's pretty good for, like, a non-Marvel Legends figure that I will put in my Marvel Legends display. That's good. That's pretty good. Expect. Oh wait, let me put him in a pose really quickly. And when he's gonna be looking like this on a shelf, I'll have to eat some sticky tack on the feet. When it looks like this. That's still good. I'm gonna have- Ooh, it's guitar. But yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna have to get more of these guys. I saw a, uh, Peter B. Parker, I saw Miles. 
yeah, I'm gonna get more of them. So yeah, um, so yeah, that's the review for the uh, Marvel, the Marvel, uh, the Hasbro basic body across the Spider or Spider Punk, and honestly. I can't wait to see this guy in the movie. I think he'll be a fun character. And, hang on. One more thing about the size. that He's a teenager. That's good size. So, yeah. In total, I'll have to give this figure a 8 out of 10. It's not the best, but, like... For a $12 figure, I, I think I said it was $14 earlier. No, it was actually just 12 For 12 because it was on sale. For a $12 action figure, this pretty good. I'd say this was worth it. So yeah, let me guys know what you think about the figure in the comments below. So yeah, catch you in the next one. See ya!